Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be day, I don't remember, day five. And I've just met up with Steve. We're in the, I'm in the car right now. Uh, he went to get us some Chinese food. So um, thank you guys for all the love and all the support and you know, getting me to this part. Um, I gave Steve the, uh, the gift that I told you guys about. And um, yeah, his son's back there. So I'm just watching him right now. And um, yeah, so. Thank you guys again. You guys got me to this point. Um, I'll put Steve on the vlog shortly. Um, just when he comes back, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, Steve on Daddy Judy. <laughs> not that bad. He's definitely, he's definitely not used to it though. He's not used to it. For sure. Do I have a, do I have to like blur his face or anything like that? Huh? Or do I have to blur his face or anything like that on the vlog? Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, putting something out there that I can't. Oh, I like the fact that I'm not big in Barbados yet. Because I know that if I was Big in Barbados, it would be very, very hard to do anything. Yeah, then you can't, you can't live your life. Yeah. Privacy is a big thing for me. I never had this hot sauce, so I'll try it. Bro, the sun hit the spot. Chinese is crazy. Mama, you want some? Even though I don't, I don't even love eat Chinese like that, but. I just want my lips to heal before I get out of my this. Nah, Honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I went to my dentist too soon. I mean, so soon before this thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. And this is what? Shrimp? Yeah. You see though? What the hell? I had a blunt right here, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah. Be careful, Baba. Because that's my first thing eating shrimp too. I'm not saying that's the best Chinese in Brooklyn. But it's that's good. The best Chinese that brought back my childhood and stuff like that. Bro, I put on five pounds well since I've been here. <laughs> I thought you liked the slide. Is it strong right now? No, no. It's just so much tech. Best Buy was a little bit underwhelming because they didn't have everything. I was looking for the 990 actually. I don't see one. So I got a 980. Still about the same kind of speeds though. 7,000 megabytes or so. Reason rights. Yeah. I got that, but. I got a motherboard for my for my my boy and then that's about it hey guys i'm gonna just chime in here a little bit just to kind of explain a little bit of stuff um i know that for some of you guys you guys might find this vlog a little bit underwhelming um honestly if i'm being completely honest with you um the guy you see on stream when it's steve or the guy you see in the videos it's just a more private version of what you see um steve is exactly who you see on live and he's a real genuine person and i we found ourselves talking like we were just two 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 guys you know like the the, the boys together just talking and there was a lot of private stuff that we kind of talked about so at some points in time i just completely forgot to record um i didn't kind of want to put certain stuff out there i met steve's family i met i know i saw where he grew up i saw all these things steve took me to these places and i'm 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 like i feel a little bit more motivated to keep going because it's like he he grew just like me you know like being somebody who not necessarily had to get it out the mud 
but started very very small and kept working hard and kept going as hard as they could to make sure that they get to that point and steve told me this day that his privacy is one thing that he really enjoys because being able to go around and and a lot of people don't know him that's that's a that's a good thing and that's something that i also kind of kind of want yes you want all the fame and the and the cloud and people to know you and know your name etc but you also don't want people to be disturbing when you're going about normal life you get what i'm saying so in order to kind of protect some of his privacy and stuff i have to cut up a lot of this vlog um and it's not just to protect his privacy but it's a respect thing you know um i gained exponentially more like i already had a lot of respect for steve but after this day that i spent with him these two days um like one and a half days let's say that i gained a lot more respect because he taught me a lot of stuff too just from having conversations and if there's one thing that you guys should do and this is my advice to you find your find somebody who's a mentor to you within the field that you want to get into and you learn from them as best as you can even if it's something like you got to get a job there or you got to say let me work with you this is something that somebody said i'm not going to say the name because actually you know what f it i'm not even going to be scared there's something that mr tate said he said find that mentor that in the field that you want to get into you work for them for free for three to six months or whatever it is and you learn every single thing that you can from them and you make their business better because eventually you would be able you would get in contact with the people that they're in contact with you will know the tricks of the trade you will know everything that you need to know and then you can then once you break off from that person or you and, and that's not necessarily break off from that person but break off from that business you can then you already come with experience you come with knowledge and you come with contacts and those are the things that are very very important in today's world and this is an experience that i learned when i got over there and i want to pass it on to you guys so um again i am going to be cutting this up a lot so that you know i can't and I, i'm not saying that i have a lot of footage either because as i said i forgot to to record a couple of times we were just so lost in conversation half the time just it was like i was talking to my best friend basically you feel me so it's it's things like that like I, I i just didn't record that much you know so i'll show you guys the things that i can show and if you guys don't see certain things i'm sorry but this is kind of the way how it, how it is right now once we meet up again there'll be a lot more time we did you know what's crazy the crazy part is we didn't even get a photo together we were just like chilling basically it was like i knew him for years you get what i'm saying so um yeah i hope you guys still enjoy and i hope you guys understand um kind of the reason why you know i i don't have like super in-depth vo vo vlog content with me and steve but as you guys can see here i have visual proof that we were in the same place together you feel me so at this point um we had gotten as I, uh, you guys would have seen we we first thing we went to do was get some chinese food steve took me around the neighborhood showed me where he used to live where his mom lives and um just i i got to meet them etc really nice people really cool people um then we went down to new jersey i met up with sammy who connected us with uh what you guys are going to see later in the vlog where we went to the school and talked to some high schoolers it was a really cool experience for us to go ahead and talk to them especially for me like it wasn't necessarily for me but sammy shout out to sammy bro sammy invited me to come along and he said that it would be a really good experience for me to talk to some of the kids too and let them know about the reality of this you know because a lot of them grow up in you know not so great areas or not so great situations and these kind of things seeing two people who one person who's on their way to success and one person who's already successful seeing and especially with their skin color seeing that is motivation for some of these kids to get off the streets to start working start working hard and stuff like that so um those were kind of really cool experiences after that we went to micro center and i got some fans uh steve steve got the fans for me he kind of completely surprised me because i was fully expected to pay i had my wallet and my card and everything out to pay for and he said well he got it um 
and then so i want to say thank you to steve for that um when we went in micro center i'm telling you guys micro center is the place bro we went in the micro center we met this guy i don't remember his name i think his name is daniel or something like that i don't remember but this guy was so knowledgeable about everything we sat down and we had a, like a 30 minute conversation about computer parts and stuff like that he went on the computer he showed us a few stats and stuff like that and like he said why this was a good decision what that was a good decision and stuff like that and it was it was a pretty cool experience i was still looking around for ram um i didn't get any new ram for my pc uh just i don't know the cost i didn't want to spend sorry i don't want to spend that much money but yeah bro uh still ended up spending some but yeah um we went across to sammy and we we talked there we chopped it up there for an hour two hours um we went to get some haitian food did not vlog any of that we we miss the guys the guy you see on stream is 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 exactly who steve is he's a very loving guy he's he provides for his family he does stuff and this is the kind of thing that you guys need to emulate you need to provide for your families you need to go out there and work hard you need to strive for greatness and and be the person that you're meant to be the man the men you're meant to be and i'm speaking to the guys here you you're supposed to be the men you're meant to be go out there and add value to the world make your family proud make everybody proud and you know your mom gave put bring you into this world i understand that some of you guys might not have the ideal mothers etc but if you have that mother and father figure make sure you take care of your parents y'all like they took care of you when you were young and when you were vulnerable i think it's time when when they get old and they're vulnerable i think you guys should start taking care of your moms too so your parents too so um i'm gonna stop talking here now let you guys see some of the some more of the vlog especially when we talk to the high schoolers and stuff like that and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy there was one in there was none in barbados when i went went to get one so we went to get a subaru so i just chose that they wanted me to get like a suv the subaru xv or something like that i was like nah if i get an suv it gotta be something like that looks really pretty good and not like a subaru or something like that Is the RSQS? Mm -hmm. No, Q8. Q8. Oh. Yeah, that's the Q8. That's the one that looked like the Eurus. Yeah. That that's exactly yo. If you sit inside of it, that's exactly how the Eurus look. Really? Damn. I was like, yo, that's crazy. The one, the back bumper. Mhm. Mm yeah, the Eurus, straight up, bro. If you put a Eurus right next to it, some people couldn't tell the difference. That's cool. Except for the Lamborghini badge and you know the design. You could tell Audi from a mile away. Yeah. And like the some some of the lights mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Car wash auto change. I'm thinking about starting a shop like that in New York. That's money, bro. Yeah, that a car wash shop. Yeah. Turn left on 30th Street. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Alright, guys, right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Right, right. Technology happens, y'all. where to start. Jeez, Which technology happens. Uh, just general, cards? general. Oh, yeah, let's go look at that first. Video cards is crazy. Hello. I get it. How you doing, man? Oh boy. This is heaven. Monitors are crazy though. I gotta get me. I gotta get me one. Like for a third monitor. Eventually I gotta get one. Damn. So much stuff in here. Still think this is the best buy? Oh the wheel. Thank you. The wheel is Nah. Definitely not. How much is the wheel though? Ooh, that's, yeah, that's pricey. All right. That's why you have other names that's gonna come up too. Yeah. You have options. 179. This one that I had, I had this for a while. Uh -oh. They took it off the shelf for a while, but now it's back. That's probably one of the best will because uh, you're, able, you're able to switch. So you see, just by having this, wait, is this one? Just mm -hmm. by having this, this is the TGT2. 
I yeah. have a TGT one. But if I've come up with it since it was so successful, you're able to switch your will. You have options. To if you don't want this will on it, you switch it to that. To the Ferrari one. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, options. It's three ninety nine though. Yeah, I ain't got that kind of money right now. <laughs> nah, I understand. What else? Maybe when I come back next time. Flight simulator. Yeah, I don't play flight sims right now, so. Three ninety nine. <laughs> wow. You got the T one fifty. How much is this one? One sixty nine. Not bad. How heavy is it? Oh, that ain't bad. But this is a Chinese company. Yeah, I, I don't mess with Chinese. <laughs> Sorry. You'd be surprised. They get good quality. I mean, not, that's good quality, but it does exactly what that does, just lower quality. Yeah. I can't believe they came back with it, man. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get one. With but, one of these ones? But, yeah, but the, um, what you call it, Fnatic is so ballistic, bro. Oh, the one you have? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that could really compare to it. <laughs> I don't know. This might be a good place to start. For that one. Yeah. It comes with paddles? Yeah. I don't know. 169 as like 300 Barbados. Mm. I'm gonna think I'm gonna wait. What video card are you running right now? 3080 Ti. 3080? Yeah. Oh, so you good. Yeah, I'm chilling on a graphics you're card. Good. Yeah. Good the butt kicker. Oh my god, I hate <laughs> that thing. <laughs> so it does, all it does is shake your seat. Really? Yeah, uh, it shake your seat to give it a, a realistic feel. I heard. To give you a realistic feel of what it is. Uh -huh. Nah. Uh, if I if I was if I came with a graphic for a graphics card, I wouldn't have spent any money yet. I know. Trust me, the the forty the forty ninety. Yo, I'll be mad if they have a forty ninety uh, in here. But, oh, headphones. I don't know if you have a, in the market for headphones. I actually am. Um, the A fifty is probably one of the best headphones I ever purchased. Two minus nine. minus when the the part that part break like you see how i usually have a hat on yeah when that part break you only have the plastic holding your head oh so i have that's the only thing that sucks about it this is the one i have right now oh that's good then yeah that's why i'm like kind of holding off I, I want a new one but i feel like i don't need need it i'm happy he's not up because he that's why he want to stay actually I might get some fans from me here. You got options. Because I, I do need, do do need like fans. fans. Yeah. I do need fans. That's cool. Let the vlog see that. I do need fans. What about my last setup? Lian Lee. Lian Yeah. Lian Lee is actually good. I actually got to watch. Look, I, that was what I like about it when you open it. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's cool. Like I gotta watch that video when I get home. Yeah. The the one that you. Oh, that the you posted. new one. Yeah. yeah. I was asking for that. It don't. It doesn't come with that. That's for the show. Oh, the the um yeah. the cables. I wish. I that's a lot of airflow though. Well, Jesus. No. I've never seen that. In, like. Now you're making me want to go buy fans now. A long time. I gotta buy fans. Yeah, should be cheap. Cheap. Yeah. These are nice cables and everything too. Yeah. Just saying you got options. I used to build my own um tech stuff with a sticker board and everything. Mm hmm This this is where I used to come. Oh boy. Coming from engineering school. Yeah. Y'all don't let me move to America. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is cool. I actually want to try a water cool build at some point. Yeah, this is where I learned how to do it. Because I mean you got options now. Yeah. And plus, they made it easier now. It's a lot easier now, and plus, yeah. you could go and watch it online, and and figure it out too.
students. Today I have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker, Steve the Gamer. Steve the Gamer is a well accomplished YouTuber with over 3 million subscribers, a college graduate with a degree in engineering, and a successful entrepreneur. He has dedicated his life, work to helping others, and today he is here to inspire us all to chase our dreams. No matter what obstacles you are, are in your way, everyone please give a round of applause for Steve the Gamer. she told me as uh, as as I arrived here, it was like, hey, here's here's some books, here's some papers, figure it out. And I had no choice but to figure it out. Like a career is I, I kinda focus my career on like football and stuff like that. So I started my career as a football player, enjoyed it, and uh and so I found out that I had to take care of my, my little brother. So by taking care of my little brother, I had no choice. I feel like uh, I kind of ended up moving back to New York. Back to New York, I had to like forget about football career. Cause it's, it's, it's football is it's good here, but it's, it's not the same as the South, of course. So by the time I got a chance to move here, I mean, I had to raise my brother. And uh, as far as like, uh, gaming used to be like my getaway. By that time, I, I figured out that I had to take care of my little brother. And I had to get a part-time job. By a part-time job, not only I was in school, I had to get a part-time job. I had to take care of my brother, make sure he eat and do all that stuff. And also had to I had to figure it out as I'm as I'm growing up as far as like, you know, career wise. What am I gonna do? Like I know you guys are in high school right now. Like, wow, am I am I gonna go to school? Like am I gonna go to college? What am I gonna do? You know, this and that. And uh, my dad made me an offer, which was pretty cool. Uh, to, to study engineering, and uh, in return, like I would get a, like a engineering job with him and all that stuff. I decided to go with that for a while, and uh, as as I was going with that, um, I know I was gonna graduate high school. I wanted to go to college just for that. He passed away, so as he passed away, I still decided to go on with my career. As far as like going to college, taking care of my brother, I remember just like jumping on the bus. Like, so hop on the bus, get to work, and if, if there was another bus no. at 12 o'clock. If I didn't catch that bus, I gotta wait for the next hour, which was at 44. And I, I remember just having to deal with that a lot. And after that, um, just like I said, I decided to go to college anyway. Um, I decided to study uh, from the, uh, computer computer engineering, which was pretty cool. Then uh, throughout college, one of the obstacles that I really had. How do you change the values that you bring to your team? How do you change that? How do you change the values that you bring to your team? As far as um, content-wise. Oh, content-wise. I try to attack uh, as much subjects as I can, as far as like, just I know because you like basketball, this person might not like basketball too. So I try to like, kind of like juggle the ball in a way where it's like, all right, I'm gonna talk about basketball, I'm also gonna talk about baseball, yeah. or whatever it is. And you know, balancing in a way, a lot of companies, but now even today, I am grateful to be sponsored by like companies like NASCAR, uh, AutoZone, or um, just like, you know, other companies that, that have approached me, like I, as far as the list, which kind of like keep you going with like, as far as like having a YouTube career and stuff like that. So, um, and as far as ins inspiration, I have one of my friends, my good friend right now, which uh, grew up watching me. And, uh, I wanted to, you know, speak to you guys too. 
I'm yeah. just going to pass. <coughs> I mean, go ahead and, you know, All right, so, let them know what's going on. Um, I want to ask you a question first before I go into it. How many of you watch Steve or grow up watching Steve? And have you guys seen any of his new stuff with DVRP? I'm the owner of DVRP and I started that community um, watching. I watched Steve in the community he was in before and GRP and I I was a big part of why that community grew and how that became that way. Um, I went through a very hard time in my life between 2017 and 2019. Um, it was very, very stressful. It was a lot of negative emotions that came out and it wasn't until I saw YouTubers like Steve and other people. I've actually been watching Steve since 2012, 2013, the days of LCPDFR, etc. And from there, um, I just started to, I knew that I had a talent for leading persons, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it. I didn't know what subjects I want to do at school, what courses I want to do. I didn't know if I wanted to go into engineering or schooling or anything, anything in general. So I just picked something that was kind of a basis of everything. And that's what I just finished at university. Um, I did entrepreneurship and I created my community DVRP and I started my YouTube channel. And I said, you know, I watched Steve and I watched some other creators. I'm like, if he can do it, why can't I? And from there, I just decided, OK, mom, I want to build myself a PC. Yeah. I spent seven months or so watching and read, reading up on YouTube channels on how to build a PC. Yeah. I built a, a, my PC. I went to work in 2019. That's when I decided I went to work in 2019. That entire year, I worked as hard as I can and a part time job in government in Barbados. And it's pretty hard because they don't pay that much. They don't pay very well. But I sat there and I and I and I worked as hard as I could. I gave my mother all of the money that I earned that that earned that entire year. And I told her, "Mommy, I want you to order this PC for me." And she was the only one who pretty much had my back. Um, everybody else didn't believe in it. They were saying, "Oh, you're from Barbados. You ain't gonna be nobody. You ain't gonna do this. You ain't gonna do that." Try to stamp out those kind of things. That's my advice to you. Stamp out that kind of negativity because if you can do it, if I can do it from. A little island in, in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean or Atlantic Ocean, you guys can do it too because you have so much other opportunities than other persons do. You know, a lot of persons don't think that, oh, just because, just because I don't have the support doesn't mean that you can't do it. I didn't have the support. I only had my mom and she didn't even fully believe in it. It wasn't, it wasn't only until she said, son, I trust you and I trust that you wanted to do something. She then helped me build my PC and I started my first year as a lot of persons will tell you businesses fail in the first year a lot of businesses fail in the first year only like I would say 10% maybe past their first year of operating and I took a big loss in the first year I wasn't getting no views I wasn't getting anywhere and it wasn't until that first year was over I started to start blowing up a little bit actually on my birthday three days ago my one video my, my one of my videos i did eight months ago just fully hit 100k views and that's that's one video imagine what could happen at the end of the year when things happen and i just started i didn't have a plan i didn't do anything i like gaming i like watching youtubers and i liked leading people so i just started created a community built a bunch of people and one thing about building a bunch of people you are gonna have somebody who's gonna backstab you, who's gonna betray you. And you have to be prepared for that mentally. You have to be prepared for that mentally. And don't think it, don't think as a way to steer you away from your goal and your dream. And this is a catchphrase I tell everybody all the time. Go after all your goals and your dreams, every time. And that's basically how I started and how I kept going. And um, there are other things in my life that helped me become disciplined in being able to do this. Sometimes I tell my friends, like my schedule, they're like, I don't even know how you do it. Some days I get four hours sleep. Some days I don't sleep at all. It's just all about the grind because um, there's one thing that somebody said, and I think you're wearing essentials. This, this young gentleman here is wearing essentials. The YouTuber that actually um, promoted that that brand Jose he said when you're in a car you don't feel going 200 miles an hour you feel 
the acceleration getting to 200 miles an hour and it's all about the journey it's all about getting to that point and that's where i'm at now i'm getting to that point so and all of this started by watching guys like steve and watching guys like jose and these guys that are these youtubers and it kind of inspired me to get to the point so thinking thinking that just because you're in a in a high school you're just a normal other person you never know what might happen in your life so just start doing what you need to get done that's just from me Thank you.